Yo, what's up? Andrew here. Good to see you all. I, I can't see you, but it's good to imagine you all seeing me. I'm sure if you uh, have your, your own YouTube channel, you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll check it out. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. And if you want, you can like the video and then you can also leave a comment in the comment section talking about anything you want. Just start the conversation. That's all you got to do. That's just a suggestion. And uh, if you like facts, this is the channel for you. If you like Tradition 11, this is the video for you. And if you don't know anything about Tradition 11, like me, we're, we're going to learn about Tradition 11 together. And, uh, let's see what it says. We're using the, uh, the 12 Steps and the 12 Traditions, uh, book from Alcoholics Anonymous. And this book saved my life, saved the lives of millions. I love this book. Our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion. We need always maintain personal anonymity at the level of press, radio, and film. Page 180. Public relations are important to AA. Alcoholics Anonymous can be replaced with Narcotics Anonymous, Al-Anon, and Adult Children of Alcoholics and Dysfunctional Families, which is for codependents, or People pleasers, enablers, gamblers anonymous, sexaholics anonymous, any 12 step program. But we can't lose sight of the fact that the 12 traditions are just as important to the group as the steps are to the individual. Public relations are important to AA. Good public relations save lives. We seek publicity for AA principals, not AA members. The press has cooperated. Personal anonymity at the public level is the cornerstone of our public relations policy. Eleventh tradition is a constant reminder that personal ambition has no place in AA. Each member becomes an active guardian of our fellowship. That's very interesting to be talking about anonymity at the level of press, radio, and film on a YouTube video. And definitely open to debate because personal ambition can really hinder the message that we are carrying today as recovered addicts, codependents, compulsive gamblers, sexaholics. We carry the message, not the addict. What that statement means is we carry around the literature, the principles that are in the book. We carry that message, as well as our personal experience, strength, and hope. We're not participating in, go in gossip, oh my god, uh, crosstalk, which is like, I'm going to take your inventory, judge you 
work your 12 steps and 12 traditions for you, tell you what's best for your life, and tell you everything that's right and wrong in your life. As well as criticize you, whether it be positive or negative. We are taught to work our own program. We are taught to formulate a relationship with a power greater than ourselves that works for us. Not only as a group, but as individuals. Speaking strictly from a non-professional standpoint, as a unified member of Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, adult children of alcoholics and dysfunctional families, Sexaholics Anonymous, and Gamblers Anonymous. I stand before you saying that I am but one of millions of people in these programs. I, no matter what my position, whether it's the secretary at Narcotics Anonymous or the GSR of a group in Al-Anon, which is a general service representative, all the way to the New York delegate for a group in Alcoholics Anonymous. To the President of the United States. We are all equal. No matter who we are, what walk of life we come from, what our position in society is, male or female, gay, straight, bisexual, transgender, physically attractive or not. We all fit in somewhere in society. God tells me to put these videos up on YouTube for the people that can't make it to the land-based meetings. They're out there. I know yous are out there listening to this message right now going, Thank you, God, for making Andrew a vessel of your message of love, peace, and understanding. It's not my will to sit here and talk about 12 Steps and 12 Traditions on a YouTube video. Or say how wonderful my life is as a result of being saved by God through working the 12 Steps and the 12 Traditions. Anything positive going for me in my life right now. Andrew Tyler Collins does not take credit for any of it. It's not of my doing. It's a true testament to God, the power of God. I give all the credit to God. All the thanks goes to God. I'll say it once, I'll probably say it again, and I'll probably say it again and again and again. Thanks be to God for all the wonderful gifts that I receive, that we receive as a community. Whether it be something so small as being able to wake up in the morning, or something so large as being blessed with a child. God gives us gifts when we are ready. Whether we accept them or not, that's completely our choice. Today I get to sit back, enjoy a beautiful campfire video. Actually, it's well, it's a bonfire on a beach location, sun setting, sky is beautiful cotton candy colored, the clouds are high in the sky and they look so perfect. God is with us today. 
The sun's just setting on the horizon. Everything feels so peaceful and balanced. All the stresses of life are now gone. It's not perfect, but life is a whole lot better today, thanks to the 12 steps and the 12 traditions. And the whole thing about attraction rather than promotion. When I came into the program of narcotics and all the 12 step programs, I was a devil child, one of the most cowardly, attention seeking, excuse making, judgmental, sarcastic, angry, hurt, and scared human beings I have ever known. And that carried on for years. All jokes aside, I worked through all that garbage of the past, and any garbage I create on a daily basis today gets swept away. I give it all to God. No matter how painful, how fearful, how lonely, angry, jealous, remorseful, guilty, or anything else negative associated with events that happen in my life today. I give it all to God. Even the things I don't want to let go of, I give to God. Because it's what I've been taught to let go and let God do his work. When I give something to God, I get out of the way and I let him work. And I can take control back of whatever I gave to God and things go amiss real quick. Self-will is vile, evil, corrupt, greedy, vengeful, hateful, spiteful, critical, judgmental, the list goes on. God's will is loving. Compassion. Empathy. Accepting. Understanding. Rewarding. Giving. learning, forgiving, thankful, powerful, motivation, Serene. Peaceful. Peaceful and serenity are two different things. Serenity is kind of like a feeling. Everything's just nice and calm and soothing. Peace is like, it's making like a choice. Like instead of punching this person in the face for hurting me. I'm going to accept this person as a sick human being and turn the other cheek or walk away. Albeit very difficult to do in certain situations. Two wrongs never make a right. And anybody that believes that is getting their information from an awfully wrong source.
the only way we can become a channel of God's peace and have that freedom, happiness, and serenity that we promise in the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions programs is to work through all of our garbage and issues of the past, all of our dark past. All the secrets are out on the table for at least one human being and God to see. To identify a past behavior makes it so that it has no power over us anymore. We own it, understand it, and move past it. The mind just becomes well again. The spirit is lifted. Sky high. That's a high. Unlike any drug could ever give us. God is a drug. We can't see it, smell it, hear it, taste it, or touch it specifically, but we just know it's there. We come to believe and have faith that it will always be there. We just have to be open to receiving it. And the only way to be open to receiving God's love is to move from self-will into God's will. When we're giving from the good of our own heart, that's when we feel good. When we give without any expectation of anything in return, that's when we feel good. Love is a charitable donation. It comes with no strings attached. Anytime we're able to give freely of our own goodwill, that's God working through us. We can give the credit to God when we do something nice for somebody else, something peaceful for somebody else, something healthy for somebody, even ourselves. That's the love of God. Being able to just breathe, take a nice deep breath in and out, that's a gift right there in and of itself. The love of God is so powerful, I can hardly even speak right now. But I'm doing my best. The words are just extremely difficult to formulate. When God has me strapped down to a chair, it makes it very difficult to express myself in words, but I tell you, the feeling is amazing. And we can have that anytime we want. All we have to do is work and give it some time. Stay the course, work the plan, and God does amazing things for us every single day. With that, I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.